Okay, so I have both the valve covers off and uh, doing the valve adjustment. I'm not going to show you each and every single one because you have to go one through six, one, two, three on the back side, four, five, and six on the front towards the radiator. On your hood, there should be um, a little sticker that shows you the intake and exhaust. I'll put a picture of that up right now. You have to do this when the engine is cold. Do not do this when the engine is hot. So I start. I like to start at uh, cylinder number one, and then uh, what you have to do is on the uh, Left side of the, uh, if you're standing at the front of the engine on the left side, uh, where the time belt is, there's a uh, top time belt cover. On there, there's a little uh, little viewing window. You have to pop the little rubber piece off, and then you actually see on the cam gear um, markings one through six. Okay, working on the passenger side of the vehicle. Right there's the window. And you just rotate it. You just rotate that around until you get to number one, and then working, uh, rotating it clockwise, you work to the next number. So you start at number one, which is right back here. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll put a picture up. And I'll put a picture up of the firing order right now. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Intakes on top closest to the intake exhaust is down at the bottom closest to the exhaust and uh, What you have to do is break bring a um, 19 millimeter I use a half inch 19 millimeter ratchet and just rotate the engine around until I get to number one and then uh, Start on cylinder number one and then work my way around rotating the uh, rotating the uh, crankshaft and Then whatever next number shows up is the one I work on so you continue that through one through six It'll make more sense when you guys get in there. Clockwise, when you're rotating the engine, I just go clockwise with it. And now I'm on cylinder number six. So here at the top, here is your intake. And down here, here is your exhaust. And just feeling it, I can feel that they are a little bit tight. This vehicle almost has 200,000 miles on it. This isn't a Honda Pilot, but this will also work for any, any Honda Acura vehicle that has the J-Series V6 in it. Your Odysseys, your Honda Accord V6s. Your pilots, your CLs, your TLs, your MDX, um, your cross tour, the Accord cross tour, and this this valve adjustment should be done every hundred thousand miles. So usually it's typically done on your first timing belt change, which is anywhere from eighty to one hundred and five thousand miles, and then once again at two hundred thousand miles. But uh, this vehicle has been neglected, so that's why I'm doing it. Also, the reason I'm doing it is uh, she complains that when the vehicle is cold, it has kind of a rough a rough uh, drivability problem. I don't want to say rough idle. Uh, and once it gets hot, um, it goes away on startup. Did the spark plugs, make, thinking maybe that was it, but uh, that was not the problem. So going back in here and doing the uh, valve adjustment. So here's your intake, your exhaust. The intake calls for 0.22 millimeters, plus or minus 0 0.02. The uh, exhaust calls for 0 0.030 millimeters, Plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters. So what I like to do first is I'll go ahead and get uh, this is a 10 millimeter nut. I'll break all these loose and just feeling it right here. I can tell that uh, these are a little bit tight. Sometimes these are really hard to get off. Not hard to get off, just pretty tight. So loosen that one up. Loosen that one up. Let me get some more light here for you guys. Loosen this one up on the back side. And loosen this one up right here. Okay, so this is more of a feel kind of thing. I can't, I can, obviously can't have you feel this on YouTube, but uh, this is more of a feel kind of thing so I wish I could <laughs> there's no way for me to show you guys what it feels like on YouTube but uh, the key thing to remember is don't over tighten these it's better to be a little bit loose than too tight because you don't want to end up damaging a valve um, up here your intakes take 0.22 and I'm using a 0 0.09 was it 0 0.09 inches and 0.229 millimeters. So then what you do is you go in here, next thing I like to do, go ahead, bring my screwdriver in, 
back these screws off a little bit. That's how you make the actual adjustment. Okay. Then you go in here, you slide your feeler gauge in, right? See how much room there is right there? Okay, now I will take, I'll back this nut off a little bit. Okay, and then I'll bring my screwdriver in. And just slowly, sometimes I'll come down. When I can't move it anymore, then I'll start backing it off. And you just want to feel a little bit of hesitation when you're pulling your feeler gauge back and forth. So I'm slowly tightening it down. It's getting tighter on the feeler gauge. I'm backing it up a little bit. And like I said, it's it's better to leave these a little bit loose than too tight. So right about there is good. Then I'll come in here with my finger, put my nut all the way down, bring in my 10 millimeter, and while you're holding the screw in place, you kind of back that off counterclockwise, just a, just a hair. So that way when you tighten it down, uh, when you backed it off there for a second, that compensates for when you actually snug down the nut. Then you come back in here, you feel it. Steel feels good. And that's what you do for all, all 24 valves, intake and exhaust. I would start on the intake side and then I'll work my way down on the exhaust side. It's not that hard, just take your time. If this is your first time doing it, um, it's like more of a feel kind of thing. And all you need is 10 millimeter wrench. I get a shorty screwdriver and just finish them off all that way. I won't bore you with the exhaust and intake. That's how you do a valve adjustment on the Honda J-Series V6.